All right, everybody, how's it going? We have a bit of news from around the NFL. Um, as we know, there is a, a lot of players opting out. Today is, uh, by the way, Tuesday, uh, July 28, 2020. And uh, we've had, um, specifically around the Patriots, I'm going to make another video going over the, uh, like the rest of the league that's opted out. This is more about the Patriots, um, specifically because they've had uh, about five players opt out. And uh, due to that, they've, as you can see, I have stuff highlighted and everything. The Patriots have already had five pretty big leaders opt out. Um, Hightower, Marcus Cannon, Brandon Bolden, Vital, uh, Neji Tehran, and now and I believe Patrick Chung has also now opted out. This is bef this was made before Patrick Chung opted out, so I have that updated uh, right here. So, um, so basically, the way this works, um, like uh, the Patriots. I know we lost all these players, and it kind of stinks to lose uh, guys like Hightower, to lose Patrick Chung, to lose. To lose Cannon to, uh, and to lose Vital, who we just signed, to lose Bolden. Um, but at the same point in time, um, this article on the uh, on the site from NBC Sports uh, Boston. Um, so you know it's pretty uh, solid with Patriots news. Uh, this means that their salaries won't count against the New England Patriots' 2020 salary cap. Considering Hightower and Cannon were among the Patriots' ten, ten highest player, that's a significant amount of money the team has freed up. According to sap, uh, salary cap expert Miguel ben Benzin, this is this guy, the Pats now, ha uh, now have more than $24 million in available cap space compared to under $8 million prior to the player opt-out. As Benzin noted, it's still unclear what, uh, which Patriots players fall into the NFL's voluntary opt-out and high-risk opt-out categories, which could impact the Patriots cap numbers slightly. Um, and I'm pretty sure Cannon qualifies as a high-risk opt-out due to being a cancer survivor, so... Um, so there's going to be at least one of them, uh, that will count. And I think there's another player that's a high risk opt out. Um, so basically we can go into this guy. This is the, this is the source for the cap information. He's very credible. Um, <laughs> Bill, I hoping Bill Belichick is charging rent for the space he is taking up in people's heads. Um, let's see. I'm looking for, yeah, so basically this is the new things. Um, so after, the, after accounting for the opt-outs of Chung, Hightower, Marcus Golden, uh, Tehran, and Vital, the Patri uh, five guaranteed salaries added to the Patriots' den money, uh, Hastings resigning. My new Patriot salary cap number is $24,745,302. Uh, the Pats now have 75 players on their roster. So they're, they're down to 75 players right now. Um, so they can they can make some moves. They can bring some players in. And uh, if we go back to that Ross, uh, back to this, um, there are still several high profile free agents on the open market. Most notably, edge rusher Jadavian Clowney, defensive tackle Damon Harrison, and linebacker Marcus Golden. The Patriots now have the resources to pursue any of these players in free agency or swing a trade for another prominent player. In any case, Coach Bill Belichick and his staff must find ways to replace several key members. Yeah, so we basically, looking at guys like Marcus Golden, looking at guys like um, potentially like a Damon Harrison or, or a Jadavian Clowney, those, those three names, um, you could potentially, if you negotiate this right and you maybe go for the Marcus Golden and the Damon Harrison route, um, you could swing in two of those guys in, in comparison to maybe just going for Jadavian Clowney. Um, also, I know that guys like Jadavian Clowney, Harrison, and, uh, and Golden may not you know, be as good as you think. Some people might consider them a little overrated. Maybe Golden's underrated. Um, but like we can remember that going to the Patriots, there is a bit of a system in their defense. Their defense is very system-oriented. Um, a lot of people consider their offense a system, but it's more the defense, right? Um, you see guys like Kyle Van Noy who couldn't get a starting job in Detroit for a couple years, get traded to the Patriots, get inside that system, and excel wildly. We've seen Jamie Collins excel it wildly in New England, go to Cleveland, eh, come back to New England, excel wildly, and go get paid by Detroit. So it's kind of a system, it's, and we've seen that with numerous players in the past. Um, and, we've, and we could probably see whatever Jadavian Clowney's max potential could be, we could see that exposed by the Patriots, so, or Damon Harrison exposed by the Patriots. He could be playing like he was on the Giants at the start of his career. Um, if that's where he started, I know he played very well for them for a stretch there. And initially for Detroit, but he was kind of lazy and everything. But the, the major takeaway is here, the Patriots do have five players, you know, sitting out the season. And that is Dante Hightower, uh, Marcus Cannon, Brandon Bolden, 
Danny Vital, uh, Vitali, I think, and offensive guard Neji Tehran and Patrick Chung now. But I don't really care about Patrick Chung. Um, that frees up twenty four point seven four five million dollars. So we basically freed up twenty five million dollars. Um, it could be a little bit more as long. I think Marcus Cannon is going to be a high risk opt out. So we, I think it counts as like we get more money. Be, like it's some there's something involved with it, or I think we get a little less if Marcus Cannon's a high risk opt out uh, or a voluntary. It's one of those. It's one of the two. I don't know which one it is. I think the high risk opt outs get a little bit more money because they have an actual reason to be opting out. Whereas if you just don't want to play due to whatever reason, that's fine. You still get paid, but you get paid less. Um, so that's where the Patriots sit right now. So good news for the Patriots. I know we're going to be missing the play of Hightower and the play of Chung for some of you for whatever reason. Don't know really what you see there. Um, but losing, you know, we're going to be, it's going to, it kind of sucks losing these guys, but we now have the money to go and kind of fill Hightower's role, maybe go get Golden make a trade for somebody, um, maybe sign Harrison to replace Danny Shelton. You know, we, we could make a couple moves that I, I would be very fine with and very happy with. Um, so uh, I guess the, the main question is, what do you think of this? Uh, are, are you uh, stunned by the fact that the Patriots have now tripled their cap space by five, by six, five, or what was it, six guys sitting out? Um <clears throat> A lot of these guys also aren't signed to play next year. So basically what we're doing is we're seeing the Patriots get some of this massive cap that they were going to have next year early. So we'll see what they do with this. I think they're going to be making some moves now that they have all this available money, five open roster spots of the 80 roster spots. Um, we'll see what they do. I hope they make a couple moves. I really hope we bring in like a Clowney role, like somebody like Clowney or Golden. Um, I hope maybe we make a trade for a receiver, I, I, a tight end. I don't know what we're going to do, but I really hope we do something. We have a good pile of money now, and uh, let's let's go get Clowney and maybe try to also bring in Harrison. That's what I hope. In, in my perfect world, we sign both of those guys. We get somehow get Clowney for like 14, 15 a year, and we bring in Harrison for like six, and boom, we still have three or four million dollars. So that would be, in my perfect world, that's what happens. I doubt that's doable, but we'll see. Um, maybe we get Harrison and Golden. I'm fine with that too. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, both help grow the channel. And uh, yeah, it'd be very much appreciated. So uh, go Patriots. And uh, yeah, let me know. Peace. It's 24.7 million in cap space. Bill Belichick has done it again.